Hi, here's a practice video for the B minor partita, Bach, written by Bach. And this is the third double in this piece. So this is the double after the Sarabande movement. So first I'm gonna play measures one through eight, just a run through slowly, not too much dynamics, no metronome, just making sure every note is in tune. Then I'm gonna talk about the intonation of for certain spots, including some practice of string crossings. So here's our playthrough. I'm gonna keep it nice and slow, but if you need to slow it down more, change the playback speed. Here we go, it starts on an up bow, on B. tried to really follow the fingerings in the Galamian edition. The first funky spot is measure three. So after the first two beats, E sharp is gonna be what we call a low two. C sharp is gonna be next door and B. So let's practice doing the, the second beat and then the third beat. that again. Slower. Remember, anytime your fingers are all smushed together, I call that a sandwich. They're all a half step apart, might be on different strings. Um, okay, so you're going to do that another time, and then we're going to land on the A sharp, which brings us into half position for a beat. So let's do that again. Now, when we're in half position in this piece, which happens a few times, first finger is A sharp, second finger is a half step across to F sharp, and then third finger is usually playing C sharp. So it makes this nice arpeggio. Play those three notes and really make sure they're ringing and in tune. Now let's do it in the order of measure four. So it's gonna be A sharp and then F. And let's do that again. After that, we go back into first position. So you really wanna make sure your hand does change slightly. So let's practice that. We're gonna do the first two beats together twice. So that's the, the tonality or like the fingering of that, those two spots. Now in measure five, you're going to notice that we have quite a few string crossings. So when I played in the playthrough, um, I shortened my bow and it was, I made sure to control my string crossings so I wasn't hitting other strings. So what we're going to do right now is chop up the bow. <laughs> kind of extra short in it so that you can really plan the different string levels. So let's do that again. Now let's speed it up slightly. And really be in control of all those string crossings. So eventually when you do get it up to speed, you can really just 
just kind of nail that. Okay, in measure six, we get just a quick moment of half position. It's just the two notes, A sharp and F. And then first. But then here, you're going to be in half for the next four notes. So here's what I want to do. We're going to do beat two of measure seven into beat two of measure eight. And I'm going to play it really slowly. Ready, go. with your third finger but then the C sharp across the street gets replaced by second finger so even though they're on the same plane you're using a different finger for it just to kind of help facilitate with how weird the accidentals are in this piece so practice slowly, repeat this as many times as you need. Good luck. <laughs> 